Today we're gonna talk about the Rat Pack trading cards from 1991. On the turntable today, we have a sealed box and a formerly sealed box of the Rat Pack trading cards from 1991. Now around this time, you had another set of trading cards, which were the Yo! MTV Raps cards. And then there was the Rat Pack trading cards. It had a lot of familiar artists and I'm gonna read some of them from the side. You had Above the Law, Audio 2, Booyah Tribe, Too Black, Too Strong, Chub Rock, D-Nice, The D.O.C., Dana Dane, DJ Quick, Red Alert, Easy e Father MC, Gangstar, The Genius, Gerardo. I don't know why that dude was ever in this, but I guess he kind of rapped. I'm not even sure. Naughty by Nature's here, Poor Righteous Teachers, Mellow Man Ace, Cool G Rap, Kid and Play, Kid Frost. Anyway, there was a whole bunch of super dope artists here. And um, it's crazy because for a while, I was buying these boxes off of eBay strictly to give away cards to people who purchase stuff from my vintage clothing store online. And um, at some point, during the pandemic, these things skyrocketed to around $20 a pack and around $200 a box. And I was buying these literally for under $20 a box. And I was just buying one thinking that I would forever be able to access this price because there were so many of them. And then just like everything, nothing stays the same. And now for some reason, these things are highly sought after. Almost don't even want to open these box, but uh, open these packs because they are from 1991. But for the sake of this video, we're gonna open some packs. So now, um, it had about 150 cards for the entire collection, and that included record label cards, graffiti artist cards. Most artists had two different cards. They were groups, and there was a checklist, and I believe, uh, and you had one sticker per pack. And these cards are 30 years old, so I almost don't want to open them, but I'm gonna open them. I might just open three and keep one sealed. Nah, fuck it, I'll open them all. I got an Espo from Philadelphia, a graffiti artist. Now this is the back, it tells you a little bit about the artist here. So here's an order form. If you want to order the complete set poster, if you wanted to subscribe to the Source Magazine, $9.95, Word Up Magazine, one year for $27, Rap Masters, damn, let me tell you, I should have subscribed to all this shit and saved it. I would have been sitting on a little gold mine right now. So now here, uh, you could join the posse. This is a membership. Spinderella card. Cool C. Jimmy Z. I have no idea who this guy is or why he's even in the Rat Pack. This guy looks like he was a xylophone player for Kenny G. King T. Gerardo. Again, not sure what he's doing in this. Criminal Nation. Michi Me and LA Love. The Boys and priority record. The winner card here is Gangstar. Let's see what's in here. T-Kid, graffiti legend. I know about T-Kid from New York. Redhead Kingpin, Granddaddy IU, D-Nice, DJ Quick, Steady B, Booyah Tribe, DJ Polo, Main Source, MC Light, and Professor Griff from Public Enemy. Damn, this whole pack was hitting. It was in this one. I got another T-Kid, Kid Rock. Yo, I honestly thought Kid Rock came out in the 2000s. Apparently, dude has been doing his thing since 1990. He's been making shitty rap rock music since then. Look at that. Kings of Swing, Audio 2, The One and Only Too Short, Sir Mix-A-Lot, Atlantic Street, DOC, Kwame, MC Light, Grayson and Jason, Lieutenant Stitchy, and Yomo and Malik were signed to Atlantic Street. Terry B, not sure who she is. Moni Love, Too Black, Too Strong. That's kind of part of what makes these things dope. You know, um, some of the corny shit too. All right, last pack. Last pack, last pack, last pack. Another Espo card, Tommy and my motherfucking boy. Yo-Yo card, another Sir Mix-A-Lot card. Pretty Bad Dudes, that's a pretty bad name. Above the Law, JJ Fad, Salt and Pepper, UTFO, Chub Rock, The Next School. Yo, tell me that don't look like Pauly D. There are a lot of other cool cards in this set, like the Jizza and 
Gangstar, which I already mentioned, Ice-T, Ice Cube, NWA. There are a lot of other cool cards in this set, like the Jizza and Gangstar, which I already mentioned, Ice-T, Ice Cube, NWA. But I didn't get any in this pack. So if you're currently in the market for a box, you're looking at paying around 200 bucks and up for it. If you're looking for individual cards, they're anywhere from a dollar to a thousand dollars if they're PSA graded. Now, because they're listed at a thousand, doesn't necessarily mean they're worth a thousand. If they're PSA graded, they're worth money just because they're graded. If you put the two together, having them graded and having them be the sold, then it actually starts adding a little bit more value than just having a card by itself. If you're looking for individual packs, anywhere from 10 to 50 bucks, that's my review. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. If I missed anything, if you have anything to add to the conversation or simply wanna be like, yo, these things are dope, leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you.